Hi, in this video we'll talk about the use field hook in Formic. Um, use field hook allows us to make custom uh, in, uh, text fields or you know any input uh, field which can be you know text field, a Slack component, etc. Which has the Formic state and Formic change handlers hooked in. Um, you can do this using the field component as well. Uh, as we saw in a previous video of ours, you can do field and then you know inside field you can pass a custom component which would get the following props which would be um, field meta and uh, there's another prop and you can use it to you know make your own custom component but in this tutorial we will not do that we will look at the use field component and how we can use it to make our custom inputs so that let's make a custom component let's name it um, text field uh, this is a functional component now uh, this would accept some props and I will assign these props pass these props to the use field hook as is and here I would um, destructure some things which I want so the first one would be field second would be meta and then the third would be helpers and we'll see what each of, each of these are for now just let me return input spread the field yeah that's it so let's uh, take this component uh, place it here and let's say i label it name name and let's console log values console log values so that we can monitor it and see what is happening so i go to the console uh, right now value as a name is empty uh, let's give it a placeholder as well um, name so yeah, when i type in this particular field you can see that the name is basically the name state is basically updating how is that um just like in case of uh, the field component where it uh, checks the name whatever name is given to the field and it's, uh, you know compares it to uh, the name property we have assigned here it automatically basically injects the on change inside the input and you know basically changes uh, the name uh, field value whenever we uh, type inside the input let's console log these three things let's comment this out and see what these are so the field has basically got all the field related things um so the on change the value etc everything needed uh, as a prop to the input field will be provided by the field so let's uh, refresh it um we can say that it has the name on blur on change and value um let me spread the props here as well so that i can get the placeholder um and meta has got the basically um value is in the field as well so we can ignore it it has got the error current error if there is any if we have a schema for name and touched for that particular input the rest we can ignore these are initial and value we are getting from field so we can ignore as well um now the for the third param we which we are destructing from use field hook we are getting helpers so um in helpers we are getting these three functions which can be uh, you know interpreted as the set field value which we get from formic from here basically from the parent form component so whenever we would do set value or set touched or set error we would basically um invoke set field value for that particular uh, field now this is okay but um the use field why would we use the use field hook for customization obviously so let's you know customize it a bit let's see how we can you know make an input uh, customizable input so 
for example i can have an input where i say that when the field dot value field dot value is <coughs> dot length is more than 10 then the border would be one pixel solid red otherwise it would be none so i basically made a field where whenever the value length will be more than 10 its border will change to red so let's test it um yeah so when i typed more than 10 characters it basically changed the border length but this is a pretty simple example you can do anything with it you know you can make custom components um, of your own choice and you can have the formic state embedded for that particular input inside the component so i hope you like the tutorial if you want any further formic related tutorial you can leave a comment down below and i'll try to make it and that's it from this video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye